Hi everyone! There were no videos for some time because of my lack of motivation, but here I am with the sixth devlog for tile map. Let me tell you a story of what has been added to the game. Earlier our main character wasn't aware that there could be something more than the surface with biomes, plants and mobs. He used to eat only vegetables and sunbathe, but one day he discovered he can make a ladder with sticks and discovered the underground. He also discovered that this video is sponsored by Core. Core is a new free to play and free to create PC games platform. If you ever wanted to make your first game but you didn't know how to code, that's not a problem, you can make games in Core without any experience. But maybe you know how to code. That's even better, because you can also code more complex features with Lua. For me, I'm just very bad at creating sounds and music or advanced 3D models, but here there are tons of free assets for everyone to use. Core is powered by Unreal Engine, so your game will have high quality AAA graphics. There is also built in multiplayer, so you can publish your game instantly for others to play. You can even earn money with Core through the perks program. And they have 50% revenue share. It is 2 times Roblox revenue share and 10 times Fortnite creatives. Some of the core creators have been able to even quit their day jobs or buy the car with the help of the perks program. Additionally, the core is currently hosting the game creator challenge with a prize pool of $13,000. They are collaborating with 9 popular YouTubers to lead a faction of game creators. Join your favorite YouTuber you want to support and be part of that faction. Submit your own games made in Core by December 15th and win up to $1,000 in prizes. Use the links in the description to download Core for free and to learn more about the game creator challenge. Coming back to the game, the underground tiles are generated under the surface tiles, so the world has the same shape in both places. At first there were no caves and everything seemed to be in light, but with time the caves started generating, thanks to the purling noise, which is quite an awesome function because it is repetitive while still being random and can be nicely extended on every side giving a cave-like structure. But there were only rocks at first, until the ores like coal, copper and tin started generating. Then the light was patched, and the underground no longer received the light from the sun, but monsters seemed to not spawn there, just yet. He's lucky at the moment, I don't want to think what ugly monsters would spawn there. Sometime later, he noticed something strange, after placing too many tiles. The world felt less smooth, there was a need for some optimization. Fortunately, our character didn't know that when he goes down exploring caves, the surface is disabled. Hopefully, he won't realize he lives in a simulation. Later, when he came back to the surface, he got a little hungry. He had enough eating broccoli, so he hunted some sheep, which for his surprise dropped new items, wool and mutton. He could finally craft a bed with wool or torches with coal, but the mutton wasn't too tasty, because it was raw. But he learned something amazing, the way to build a furnace and how to smelt and cook stuff. He could now cook the mutton, but also smelt copper with tin to make bronze. However, to do that, he needed fire points, which he could get from wood, coal or charcoal. But the bronze was worth a struggle. With the new metals, he could throw out his old stone tools and make new ones. With them, he could mine and chop trees faster. Obviously, on the last day, he made a small cozy house. Now it was only a matter of time before he sat comfortably inside of his house and started imagining what next he will discover. Maybe he'll learn how to make doors. Nah, that's probably too difficult. He'll need to wait for that feature some more time. I hope you guys liked the video. Finally a tile map devlog after all that time. Have a great time guys. See ya. 
Also don't forget about Core, use the links below to download it and create awesome games.